Frios. He lived in Franconia, Germany, and there was a war going on where he was living called the Polish Succession, which was at the time where he was living. When Harald Caspar Jost came to America, he traveled by boat with hundreds of other Germans. He was living in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They picked that place to live in hopes and expectations of finding a peaceable settlement. When Hans Caspar Jost came, the jobs he had were to cut down trees to make his home and farming to make his own food to eat. Of course, when he came to America, he had many hardships. Some of the hardships he had was speaking English. Everybody in America spoke English, and they didn't know how to nor how to understand it. Samson had owned his own slave. Her name was Celia. Um, but his con convictions made him set her free in 1806. Samson's son James had a wallet with his name inscribed in it from 1852. My mom's cousin, Ben Stimmel, has it at his house and keeps it very safe. My mom and I had a very fun time finding out all of this interesting information. We were also very surprised with some of it, too. Most of these facts we didn't even know. That was all the fascinating facts I could find that my, that my mom and I could find about our ancestors.
Ancestry.com. Mm -hmm. um, Katya, what's your post? No. No? That was my favorite <laughs> <laughs> like that? Um, have you ever tried chocolate on this? What? Have you ever tried chocolate on this? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't had it in quite a while though. <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> yes, it says it at the bottom of that sheet right there. <clears throat> it's really hard to read, but someone made it out. interesting thing you discovered? Um, I thought it was pretty cool that the, that how it all came together with how like, um, with how Hans and then his parents were died and then imprisoned and then came here. I thought that was cool. Katya? Is your doll like traditional clothes? I forgot what it's called. <laughs> kind of, but there's a there's a different word for it. I forgot what it's called. But that's what the Germans would wear. Um, the men would wear tights, <laughs> and um, their pants would go to their their knees around there. Mm -hmm. Knickers. Do you speak any German? What? Do you speak any German? Dankeschön. That's about it. <laughs> Any other questions for Angel? No? Okay, let's give Angel another one. Oh.